Uh, what do you have planned for the next few months? Anything? I don't want to ha have you divulge any secrets, but would you like to divulge any secrets? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a lot of secrets to divulge. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, as far as Resh Expo, you know, um, that's taken a hit long-term planning because many of the, well, I, I guess the good news is, is we can have some events there because our company, the local company, as we talked about, we produce many of our own shows. So like the wedding show, the boat show, sure. um, the home and lifestyles experience coming up, the pet expo, those are things we do. So luckily we can do those so there's something in the Resh Expo. What's taken a hit are those big traveling large equipment tech ex expos that might take one or two years in the planning. So right. any of those that they thought might happen for 21, quickly realize they're not gonna happen until 2022. So uh, expo, that's what's happening. We'll look to maybe fill some music. We can do some concerts in one end of the Resh Expo. That's something we can do. We're gonna look to program the outside. There's a beautiful uh, outside plaza in front of Resh Expo. So we're gonna look to do some music out there this summer. In the fall, you know, what will Packers game days look like out there? That's a possibility too. That's what we can do in the meantime. Rush Center for concerts. It's probably looking like uh, if all things go well, late summer, fall for concerts. Really? We have some things on hold that they're like kind of waiting to see how things go. And I think we'll know by May or early June how this whole virus thing is working as to whether those things will continue. So it's still kind of a wait and see. I mean, there's there's things out there, but I think some people are just afraid to take that step. When you say some people are afraid to take the step, meaning concert goers or the shows themselves? The show themselves, yeah. yes. Uh, whether it's the performer or the promoters. Uh, we were talking about this in the office. You know, I, I think now that the vaccines are rolling out, I think some of them were ready to go, but now maybe they're saying, well, let's see how these vaccines are gonna work. So maybe let's come back mm -hmm. when it's really good instead of maybe just good. So, you know, that's, that's the tricky part. You have to have everybody to play the game. You have to have the performers want to come and then the people who want to come as well. Right, so the concerts you say that you will be able to put on, how will, how will those look? I mean, are these big name shows, middle, middle Yeah, of the I road? mean, if, if they're able to happen, I mean, there are some shows like Alan Jackson. That's still okay. on the calendar for September. That was moved before. If well, that's all goes, big. That's very big. It's been sold out, seems like forever now. If that happens, that has to happen as a sold out concert. You know, because the tickets are already sold. Yeah. You can't say, well, you can only do 25% capacity, so we're gonna give refunds to 75%. See, that can't happen. Right. We'll look to do what we can in the meantime for maybe some performers who are willing to do a socially distant event, but there are other ones that simply the math doesn't work. They have to be sold out or, or a large scale. Yeah. So you've sold out Alan Jackson. Oh, yes. For September. Well, it, it's, it, was, it was supposed to have happened last year. Last you know, year. And it got pushed back, you know. So many of our concerts that were sellouts, we were on pace to have perhaps our best year in the company with concerts, and they got, kept getting pushed back and pushed back. And there's been a few that have canceled altogether. They're not going to come back. Um, but others are, have been just keep pushing it a little further, a little further in the future. And this had to especially hurt because you've got some really new, beautiful venues over there now. Right. And I'm sure some of the performers really wanted to play uh, your new well, Of venues. course, yeah. I mean, it's all, it's just, the timing wasn't good. I mean, it wasn't good to open a new venue. Obviously, the big concerts will still go in the Rush Center, um, yeah. but there are still things that, you know, probably would have happened in Rush Expo in the middle of 21 that probably now won't happen until 2022. Yeah, because this is not Blue Oyster Cult at the Brown County Arena anymore. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you're laughing because you're old enough to remember. That's a fact. Re That's a fact, Tom. To remember that. <laughs> um, you talked about the gamblers. They have a regular kind of a steady schedule yes. with a steady clientele. Yes. Is, is that helping to maybe convince people that it's probably okay to come back to some of these events? I mean, I think so. I think if you talk to people who have been to a gambler's game, um, with the spacing that we do and the pod seating that they, they see it, it can be as safe as possible. And you know, it, you have your choice as to whether you go in a grocery store or a department store or a gambler's game, there's enough room to keep the six feet if, if you want to, it, it's there. So I think, and, and the gamblers, you know, have been what have been keeping us afloat along mm -hmm. with some of the government assistance, quite frankly, because that, that's all there's been. Yeah, in the uh, minute or so that I've got left here, I gotta give you a chance for a plug here. You've got Gamblers Military Appreciation Night coming up. Yes, it's coming up uh, end of February and it's always a big night. It's, it's our chance, we, you know, the Gamblers have always been big for the veterans. The players will wear military themed jerseys. Yeah. 
they're always a cool jersey. They'll be auctioned off after the game. And anybody who is a, is a veteran or an active military person gets a free ticket to come to the game. You just need to come to the rest center box office and get that ticket. And uh, um, we think it'll be an extra special night yeah, this year. Always a great event. Terry Charles, always fun to have you on, my friend. Yes, Tom, good to see you again. Thanks for being with us. All right, if you have a newsmaker in your town who you think we should have on this program, let us know about it. Send us an email at tips at wearegreenbay.com or you can message us on Facebook. And be sure to join us once again Sunday morning at 7.30. Until then, have a great day.